what's going on guys welcome back to programming knowledge and this is the fifth uh, video on how to create mobile responsive website using the bootstrap technology so in the previous tutorials we have added different sections for our website so we have added the uh, logo or the site name at the top and also with the menus at the right with the about services portfolio and contact menus so if you try to uh, scroll down we can see that we have uh, another sections or different sections and also our our menu bar or header we can see that it changed color into white and we have this big um, section your favorite source of previous tutorials and then we have the description and also the button to find out more about the the website and also we have this section and another section for our services and also another section this is what we have worked in the previous tutorial in the fourth video we we have worked on this part to add the categories and the projects we have added six projects for this particular section and in this tutorial we will be uh, working on to add the call to action section of our website okay so here we are at our code editor and we can see that we have already added our navigation section we have also the masthead the about section of our page and also the services section and uh, from from the previous tutorial or the fourth video which is we have worked on the portfolio section so in this particular uh, video we will be working on with this call to action section so to start with we will be adding uh, elements to this section so we'll start off by typing in the section section element and then it should have a class page section and background dark and of course the text should be white and inside this section we will be adding another element which is div and it should have a class container and another class text center to align the text or to align the elements of this division to center after that we will be adding the heading element or h2 tag and of course it has its own classes so or i mean class so mb4 so again if you are not familiar with these classes, you have to check with the uh, bootstrap documentation. But uh, this class is for the spacing of this particular element. So it has, or this particular element should have a margin or margin bottom should be equal to 4. So after that, inside this heading tag we will be typing in the text which is free video tutorials there and of course uh, below this line we need to add a button and then we're gonna be using the link element and before we type in the classes let's uh, type in the display text which is the download now okay and for the classes we will be adding different classes for this so btn and then btn light and of course the size will be xl so we'll check for this classes so for example this BTN, BTN Lite, and BTN uh, XL. 
okay so for now let's just save our index.html and let's try to preview our page so let's go back to our browser and try to refresh the page okay so refresh then we should have this particular section free video tutorials and the button download none actually you could add different elements or different so for example description for this so free video tutorials let's try to add a description under the free video tutorials okay so let's head back to our code editor and add something below this free video tutorials text okay so here we are at our code and then let's just add a divider in this so hr and the classes should be divider and also it has to be or it should have the light and uh, my or my-4 classes so save our index.html and go back to our browser and refresh so we have the divider now okay by using the hr element so we'll just add a description so for the description let's just add a paragraph element and then the class should be text white text dash white dash 50 and margin bottom should have the size 4 and for the, the text it should have um, maybe you can have you can have high high quality video tutorials video tutorials for absolutely free free save our index uh, index.html and let's go back to our browser and then refresh so there you go we have a very nice looking description for our call to action section so free video tutorials and then we have the divider and also the description you can have high quality video tutorials for absolutely free you can download now Okay, so now let's check the classes for this download now button as we have talked about uh, a while ago. So in order for us to inspect the classes and, and the CSS for this button, we need to go to our um, tools, more tools, and then developer tools. We could uh, click on this icon, select an element in the page to inspect it. So click on this and click the element button so we have this btn btn light and btn dash uh, xl and the download now text so for the btn uh, xl we have this we have this um, rules for the formatting of our button element or the h or i mean the link element with the btn dash xl class so Padding set to 1.25 REM, font size 0.85, font weight 700, text transform border none, and so on. So it also has this uh, this BTN class which set the font family for this particular button, and of course we have the BTN dash light which uh, set the color or the text color into this uh, value. Um, 21 25 and 29 for the for the color of the text and then the background color is f8 f f9 f8 and if you want to change the values or if you want to change the colors for this button you can always check on the creative.css file and perhaps you could you want to change the, the the font color the the background color at the bottom you could always change this 
on the creative.css file. Okay, so I think that's it for this uh, tutorial. And in the next video, we'll be working on with the contact section of our page. And then perhaps I'll be giving uh, tips and tricks so you could jumpstart your journey uh, learning the Bootstrap technology and developing mobile responsive website. Thanks.